Hi, my name is Jacques-Christophe Chouna. In this tutorial, we will learn how to install Git on Windows and Mac OS. So right now I'm on a, a Windows machine and what I want to know is if Git is already installed. So to do so, what I will do is I will go here, search for command line, uh, command prompt, and I will open the command prompt. Uh, let me zoom in a little. And what I will write is the Git version command and I will see that Git is not already installed. So what we will need to do is we will need to go to git scm.com and this is the official Git website where we will be able to download the Git on Mac. Um, so we will download the version for version the, for Windows and then we'll simply uh, run the download package. So right now we see that it's being installed. Once installed, I will open the file. Yes. And then I have the installer starting up. So yes, next. I can install this. Next, next, next. And then I can, okay, let, let me move back here. So here, if you have Visual Studio installed, I would use Visual Studio, but right now I don't have. So you use the Vim uh, default editor, uh, but depending on which editor you use, maybe you can just adapt your uh, installation here. So then you can do next, let's get the side, get from common line, open SSL, next, default, Git Credential Manager, yes. And now we can install. Let us pause and see uh, when it's finished. So now it's been installed, so I will create finish. Uh, the next things we'll do is, is see if it's been installed. So we can come back to our command prompt and write down. Okay, we can write down Git uh, version, version. And so we can see that Git version was uh, properly installed. So next, once this has been installed, what we want to do is actually start doing code. So we can move in uh, to our document folder and I can create a new folder, for instance, uh, saying uh, Git repose. So now I can move to my Git repos and what we can do is right click on this and write show more option and see Git bash here. So now we've opened Git bashed. I've zoomed in a little and uh, let's get started. So we uh, start by saying Git init, um, initial command usually. Uh, and then what we can do is we can say create a new file so we can uh, show more option and say new and text document and call hello.txt. So now we've created a, 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 an initial comment so we can say git commit minus m and say hello.txt so that would be committed to git. Uh, the thing is, right now we haven't set up the configuration. So what we do is we follow these instructions. So we say git config dash dash global user email. And then I say jc at example.com. And then I go at git config global user name and then I say John Christoph and then I run this and then I said git commit minus m at hello dot text and oh uh, so yeah, git add hello.txt. 
I think this is the issue. I create a document, so I rename. Shouldn't I given that name? So because it was already a text file, so git add hello dot text, and then I can git commit minus m hello dot text, and I can have committed my first. Uh, I did my first commit on Windows. So let's move on to how to do this on Mac 